Hey, what's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. This is Quest for the Crown Part 4, and if you're new to the Quest for the Crown series, this is basically a series where I um, try to become King of Riverhelm using the Become King of Riverhelm mod, and in case you're wondering what in the world Riverhelm is, then it's, uh, it's basically... This giant freaking castle added just outside of Whiterun. You can't see White from, Whiterun from here, but... Um, yeah, so you can become king of this huge castle. So, um, what we're trying to do is basically... It's basically, in a nutshell, um... We are trying to save up enough money to first buy, uh, to first buy a, um, a mine within the city because you can do that, and then you, and then uh, save up enough money to become king legitimately. Uh, but yeah, so in the previous three episodes, we actually became uh, Knights of Riverhelm and got this dope freaking ar armor here. Looks pretty cool. And now we are going to perform. Well, we crawled the sewer, the sewers in the previous episode, but uh, now we are going to be, uh, perform our first nightly duty abroad for not only Riverhelm but all of Skyrim. Uh, so I've just gotten word of a ship called the Winter's Warmth docking in Solitude. And, uh, and it's going to, well, it's headed out to the Sea of Ghosts in general, like several locations within the Sea of Ghosts. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel there, we're going to get on this bitch, and we are going to go and see how we can save up some money and possibly be of some help to, saw, to um, River Helm and Skyrim as well while we're at it. In case you're wondering what in the world the winter's warmth is... It's added by another mod, uh, created by 13 Oranges, it's on the Skyrim Nexus, link is in the description, it may be on the Steam Workshop as well, but I, I can't tell you authoritatively whether it is or not. Um, okay, so I think it's that ship over there, and it looks like it's having a little tiny conflict with the uh, ship that uh, that goes to uh, that goes to the Somerset Isle, uh, which you uh, which you may recall from one of my other videos, uh, episode two, I believe. So yeah, this goes to Somerset Isle, and the ship that conflicts with it goes to the Sea of Ghosts. So yeah, we're gonna check that out. Uh, one thing that could stand with doing here is he could remove this pole and Carjo could stop teleporting! Huh. You have no knowledge of anyway. So yeah, this is the winter's warmth here. It looks like. Uh. Must be. Uh, anyway, so this is the ship in question. And there's a lifeboat. That's a thoughtful addition. And uh, aside from the ship, the mod a also adds this guy here with this awesome looking uh, dwarf and battle axe. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk to him, tell him we need to hire a ship and crew, and we are going to set sail for areas in the Sea of Ghosts. This is going to be pretty badass, I think. Let's go. Price is reasonable. Five thousand septums gets you the best ship in solitude and a full crew. We can take you anywhere you need to go. Shit, five thousand gold, that's a major setback. Oh well anyway. Okay. If you could 
fix this slight problem that we're gonna have. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so... That didn't add a quest? Hmm. Oh, no, let me, uh, check my quest journal. Uh, it's not there. No, it didn't add a quest. Hmm. So, th this must be a map of all the places we're going to go. Huh. It's, of course, to Smuggler's Meet. It's, of course, to or activate current location. Oh, this is awesome. So, of course, to Telbranis. Damn. Rocky Shallows. What's over there? Ajald Island. Dragon Guard Outpost. Hmm. Smuggler's Meat. Secluded Isle. Seastone Islands. Hmm. Choices, choices. Uh, I think we'll go with Rocky Shallows, because that looks like a fairly interesting group of islands there. Oh, sweet! So it just takes us right there. I thought we'd have to go back to Ragnar and say, okay, we're sailing for uh, Rocky Islands, wherever we're going. Karzu looks like he's having a good time. Ooh. So this looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. Although it doesn't look like a, it has a lot of stuff on it. How did it get down, I wonder? Uh, I could just jump off. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just jump off. So yeah, let's see what's here. This looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Mud crab! Die. In the name of Riverhelm! Shit. Oh, Horkers too. Damn. There's a lot of stuff uh, inhabiting these islands, it looks like. Mud crab. Kill it dead. There we go. Um, where, where on earth is there anything? I mean, this is... What the fuck? Okay, so here's something interesting. Just as I was about to say, where's something interesting? It's got fucking ghosts and a shipwreck. And I'm pissing off all these ghosts. That was lucky. That was a lucky shot there. I wonder if we can go... Under... Okay, is there an enemy there? I thought there was. I wonder if we could go... The fuck? Uh, die! Ah! <laughs> ah, where are you? Where are you? Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm over here, stupid. Hey, yeah, right here. Thank you. Damn it! Are you a ninja in your past life? Thank you, finally you're dead. Uh, so what's under here? There's gotta be something interesting under here. Uh, there are horkers there. A boat. But, really nothing super, super interesting. I mean, I mean, this is a very nice looking place, but it's not a whole lot of stuff. What the f 
fuck is that? A, okay, a parasite meat. Restore 10 points of health. I guess I'll... I don't know, I wouldn't want to eat that. No, no thank you. Oh shit, I think I pissed off the Horkers as well. I got everything coming after me. No? That's good. So let's uh, set course somewhere else. There's... Uh, how am I supposed to get back up? Oh, uh, there we go. A ladder that Coach just used. Okay. So here we are. Um, Seastone Islands. Um, secluded Isle. Uh, what else? Telbronis. Try that. Let's go to Telbronis. I mean, there's just got to be a city or a quest or something he said he was going to have quests. Oh, so this is an, actually an inhabited place. Uh, close to Morrowind. Uh, it looks fairly Morrowindish as well. I like how he did that. This is very uh, cool looking architecture. Um, but I don't think there are going to be any interiors in here. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm definitely getting, oh shit, fuck balls. M. Khalil Agent. You're dead. Uh, go die. Go die. Shh. Oh. The Roots of the House. Okay, we just got a new quest. Discover the fate of the Telvani Magister and investigate the Telvani Expedition. Optional. Really gonna have to ninja out of Whoa! What the fuck was that? What was that? Where did he go? <laughs> Over in there. Sorry. What was that? He just went down to shot me. He just went flying like this is a freaking Skyrim space program. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. <sighs> okay. Back to business. Tolvani Oathman. Tolvani Oathman's journal. Investigate the Okay, so we just complete investigate the Tolvani expedition. There's a chill on the wind in on this island that I just cannot get used to. We're too close to the coldest Skyrim for comfort. Uh insists the expedition will hold the breakthrough we have been waiting for though. I thought that said through. I would send I would spend a month in the icy waste of Winterhold if I thought it could bring us closer to restoring the name of the Great House. Yeah, you remember the Great House Tolvani from Morrowind? Uh, this is the same house except for on hard times. Vyrain has made some interesting observations on the Great Tolvani plants that enthrall the tower. These are different to those I remember from my childhood in Telerun, 
While, while the stalk is of a similar nature, these do not bear the same mushroom caps that used to be found on the mainland. They seem similar in ways to the tower of Tel Vos, not far from my old home. It's possible that this result of them remaining untended for so long, but it's also quite possible Lord Rinyol was growing altogether different structures. He was not the most conventional of the great lords, although I guess you don't have to become a lord of House Telvani without a bit of ingenuity. That and idiocy. Ah, uh, that's a different thing, though. <laughs> Arethiel be believes that if we can master the spells to control the growth and upkeep of such great plants, we can rebuild the house Tilfani and the great mushroom towers like before. Okay. So, basically, you just want to build these uh, houses back. You've also got a torch, which I could use. Uh, if my right stick wanted to function for it. wonder why you can't turn torches in this game. An iron dagger. I won't need that. Staff of calm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think that could be very useful. But anyway, so, uh, what were we gonna do? Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Tell Brannis Caves. Well, I think we're gonna explore here first and see what else we can find on on this. It uh, yeah, never mind. It doesn't look like we'll be able to find much. So let's uh go open the Tell Brannis Caves and see uh what lies beneath the hatch. Hmm. It's a fairly well built cave. Whatever. Let's go sneak mode. Um, okay. Is this it? This cannot be it. Huh. A depth locked chest. See what we can find in there. We go. Is that it? Almost. Ah! Come on! Thank you. Uh, 15 gold and a lesser soul gem. Is this it? Like. It can't be. This can't be. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was kind of well hidden there. I mean, from this point of view, it just looks like it's a, another sort of part of that little area. Anyway, so let's plunge forward into the dark, dank, not so dark, depths of the Telbranis Caves. Um, this is looking pretty good. I really like the feel of this place. Uh, so, why is up ahead? Oh, shit! How did I not notice that? Die, thank you. Is that a regular Spriggan or Spriggan Matron? Yeah. I was, I was just wondering, because I don't see a lot of Spriggan Matrons. I think I've only seen, like, three or four. Then again, I don't, uh, typically find myself in areas where Spriggan Matrons are. So what's up? Uh, what's up here? Uh, um, this is man. I really wish I could find that one house mod that I really, really want. That basically gives you a lot of stuff that you can use to make a house wherever you want. What was it? I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments because I saw it and I was like that's a really good idea 
And then I promptly lost track of it. Like, I completely lost it. Two Spriggan Matrons in one area. That's a, that's a rare occurrence. Three! Wow! Three... What is that? Four. Four Spriggan Matrons in one dungeon. That's luck. I guess. Eh. And by luck, like, I mean the way you laid out the dungeon. <laughs> but. Um. So, yeah. This is. I'm definitely getting strong Morrowind vibes here. Uh, I mean, it's amazing how much you made this look like Morrowind. Is this the way forward? Must be. Let me check my map. I mean, by the way, forward, I mean like another un unexplored area. Um. Wow. These people's. Is that a dead body floating? Looks like it. It's a dead body there. And shh, that's precarious. Come on. Get, go down, down, down. Yeah, that's a dead body. Telvani Retainer. Varane. I want you to collect some samples for, from the pool we found with the gigantic roots sprouting from the water. Take them back to Oathman Dill to study. It, it may also be worthwhile describing our findings to Rythul. It may shine some light on the contents of those books he has he's been poring over. I'm heading into the second cavern through the ruins of the tower. I want to try out some of the ancient scrolls Lord Rinyol had in his possession. It may be worthwhile seeing. It may be worthwhile seeing what effect they have on the plants deeper into these caves. Arthur. Okay. So he's got some pretty. Uh, that's a that's pretty uh, high level there, but I don't really need it. How's I detected? What the fuck detected me? Shit. Uh. Who's detecting me? Jump. Okay. These Spriggan Matrons are freaking idiots. I mean, seriously. Um. Anyway, so back up here. Jump. Hop. 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 Up. There we go. Okay. Now, what lies ahead? This seems an awful lot like the way to another part of the dungeon, and there's another Spriggan Matron. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Just straight up ahead. And I think there's... A, what the... F okay. I'm going to have to take these guys out. Wow, for Argonians, you guys really suck for combatants. I mean, you just stand there. You don't... I mean, somebody can come up to you going... And you wouldn't even hear them. Like, wow. Anzalil Agent's orders. Your orders. If possible, engage the Telfani mages at close range and undetected. Do not allow them to prepare any wards or barriers. Group 1 will remain in the Telfani camp to keep watch for any late arrivals. Group two, uh, Groups 2 and 3 will proceed into the ruins and secure them, eliminating any of the Telfani found inside. It's nasty work, but keep in mind how dangerous it would be for our people if we fail. 
G-draw. Maybe worth keeping. Yeah. Uh, 12 gold. Elven gilded armor. Wow. Too bad I don't have any space in my inventory for it. Uh, air of instant kill. So wait, 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 wait. If I'm not mistaken, you killed these people and stole their armor, and now you're using their armor to kill them, to kill even more of them? You are ass backwards. Like, that is just seriously backwards. So is this the same document? Yeah, it is. So what are the... What uh, do these... Steel... How much damage do these steel arrows do? Uh... How'd the air of instant kill get reduced to a hundred damage? It's odd. Hmm. Hmm. Because I just yesterday I wrote a uh, a mod that would raise the damage of the vanilla arrows in Skyrim. Must must not be activated. Hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, I may post that up on Skyrim Nexus. I may not, uh, depending really on what mood I'm in. It'll be called Higher Damage Vanilla Arrows, if I do. But, so yeah, we've got a bear quest marker here, and we've got that. What is that? Uh, there's an Enzalil agent there. He's dead. And now his friend is too. Damn, you guys. Seriously? I mean, you're terrible for... You're terrible combatants for Argonians. Agent's Journal. Entry 1. I've been assigned to a team being sent after some rogue Telvanni mages seeking to reestablish House Telvanni from an island in the Sea of Ghosts. No wonder the Anzalil are going so far as sending us so far afield. The slave trade in Sedrith Mora... I don't know if I remember that name or not. Maybe been in Marwin. Uh, in Sedrith Mora was responsible for the enslavement of thousands of Argonians over centuries of oppression. So they may actually be in the right trying to free these slaves. There's a thought. Huh. There could be a promotion on the lines on the lines if this goes smoothly. We set off tomorrow. The sea is cold this far north. We should be inside of the island in a few hours after nightfall. I've been sharpening my daggers for an hour. It's a good damn thing I didn't get, have to go up against them. The nerves are starting to kick in. I never did have the stomach for elimination orders. But this, well, this is important. So yeah, um... That clouds things up a little bit, because I thought that these guys were the bad guys. Huh. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of that, you know, who's in the right and who's in the wrong. I mean, I'm kind of, kind of leading to, towards the Anzalil. Just kind of, but... Um, I don't know, this is a little bit like Game of Thrones, you know what I'm saying? Where it's left entirely up to you, so who's in the right? So that's, uh, that's pretty deep. Uh, take all that, thank you. Wow, that one must have hurt. So, I mean, the ends leal in the right because they're trying to free the slaves or in the, in the wrong 
because they're basically slaughtering members of House Sylvani and taking their armor and using it and their weapons and using it to kill even more of them. Magister Arthiel. Or Arthiel, my bad. Wow, look at all these awesome scrolls. Destruction skill. Whoa! Okay, this guy's got a whole bunch of cheat stuff on him. How on earth are these scrolls only worth 50 freaking gold? Ah, I wish I could have all of them. I just took one of them. I don't know which one. Uh, okay, so that, just that. Magister Arethiel's journal. Completed the roots of... The that was a simple quest. Expedition to the ruins of Telbranis. Seat of Lord Magister Rinul of the Great House Telvani. They won. We arrived on the island early this evening to find the tower still mostly intact, as hoped. I must have sent, spent nearly five hours clumbering around in the rubble before I realized that the others are all going to their tents. We cannot rebuild the name of the House Telvani when we are forced into hiding from the Argonians that destroyed our house at, at its weakest hour. The plot thickens. If we can discover the magic that was used to grow and tend the great towers in Sajuth Mora of Port Telvinus, I'm confident that we. Next page, thank you. Can create a home in this place, a refuge where we can rebuild in safety. Day 5. I sense that Rethiel. Reith is becoming a little frustrated at the lack of any usable knowledge from the tomes we have found. He needs to learn that not all knowledge is left on paper. We can learn as much from looking at the ruins themselves as we can from reading about what was here before. We have uncovered an entrance to the caves underneath, in the, ru underneath the ruins in one of the cellars of the tower. When we can clear the thickets and branches blocking our way, we will proceed to explore further underneath the tower. If I can find the source of the great mushroom plants, I will see what can be learned from Renewal's old scrolls. They were the only possessions he left when he finally passed. Apparently, they were important enough that the that they are the only items he took when fleeing the Anzalil. That and all the <laughs> scrolls. Day 8. I found a brazier at the roots of the plants deep in the caves and have sent Virain back to the surface with some samples for testing. I believe this is where the ritual spells were used to control the growth of the plants and to tend to the health. The scrolls are not clear in their intentions. Oh, so he must have found those after he uh, after he arrived in the case, of course. Makes sense. The scrolls are not clear in their intentions, so I will have to tread carefully not to cause more harm to the plants. The condition is already weak from being left untended for so many years. I'm going to take that because that may be important. And, uh... What is that? I mean, seriously, and why on earth do... What happened to Frost? There we go. Okay, so... The way forward is right here, it looks like, and I'm going to end off the video here because that's actually over 30 minutes. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, this is a very, this is very interesting. I think you'll agree. So let me know in the comments what you think, you know, who you think is in the right here. Uh, you think the Telvanis are in the right, you think the Anzalils are in the right. Uh, because, frankly, that last book sort of uh, brought me back to neutral about the whole thing. Um, uh, but anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, in the next part, we'll 
explore further. And damn, I'm going fast. Anyway, so yeah, uh, GP75 Motorsports out.